I remember one time there used to be censorship for children. Now they, they're putting adult contact in children's cartoons. Boy, this world's going to burn in hell. This is the new Sodom and Gomorrah. Whether y'all want to face it or not, this is the new Sodom and Gomorrah. I mean, there's just so much insanity. And people are running to the polls. What are the polls going to do for us? I mean, if, if it continues on with the morality barometer, is that a high low? Not a high high, but a high low. It's sad. It's crazy and it's sad. I don't know what's going to come out of this, this election. I really don't. But one thing I do know is that if things don't change fast, if people don't come into a conscious awareness of what is really going on, what is really being uh, uh, spoon fed to us each and every day, and I say the spoon feeding is chipping away at morality, And for me, anything goes. And it's like that now. Anything goes. It really does. That's just to me. It just saddens my heart to see the things that are going on right now. And I'm sure to many of you. And Lord knows, I'm scared of that Kamala Harris. I'm scared of her getting into to office. I fear her more getting into office than I do uh, Donald Trump. I really do. I mean, it, it, it's just, it's just scary. It really is. And um, all we can do is just pray. You know, I have conversations with God each and every day, each and every day. I'm not going to tell you what the what I say in those conversations, but I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know they say, well, you know, some people are saying, well, you know, God is, a, is energy. God is consciousness. God is this, that, and the other. There ain't, there's no man in the sky with a white beard, this, that, and the other, and all that stuff like that. Say what you want to say. I've always had, for the longest time, a relationship with God. A relationship for the longest time. And when I was younger, morality used to exist. At least there was still some morality left in this world, but not now because the children are under attack. Our babies are under attack, it seems like to me. Our babies are under attack. Because like I said, it used to be censorship for the children, but now it no longer exists. It's sickening. It really is sickening. And if I get caught up in hellfire and and and, and you know, they say the the world was flooded last and God would not would not flood the earth again or flood the planet again. Yeah, yeah, I know about all of the different things. People say that the Bible is the copies of the books from uh, from older texts, this, that, and the other. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you one thing. The stuff that's in there is like actually just coming true. It really is. I, years and years ago, um, when I used to have Bible study as a child, they said one day that you're not going to be able to tell the difference between a man and a woman. And I'm like, what? I couldn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't understand that from a child's mind point of view. I couldn't understand that. And that was years and years ago. I'm talking about <laughs> decades and decades and decades ago. But it's come to fold. It's come to fold. It's scary too. But anyway, that's my thoughts. These are my thoughts. Those are my thoughts. Anyway, don't be don't be out of your cotton picking mind. Okay? Clear the cotton from your conscious. Clear the cotton from your brain. <laughs> anyway, these are my thoughts, and this is how I feel about it. So y'all take care.